Hello there. Sorry, I just missed the fact that it started. Uh, Slowbo. Anyways, I'm ready to color, and hopefully uh, you guys will be ready to join me. We are going to be coloring Mr. Buckhead here tonight, and um, I think I'm going to go for those uh, sick, clean color real brush again. I think that would be nice. Um, yep, and somebody is still not asleep. Kan du sige tusind tak for gaven til Tine? Hun kigger faktisk med. Det er på dansk, kan du sige det? Okay. Tak, Tine. Tak, Tine. Og Mille. Og Mille. Det var nogle flotte tegninger og nogle flotte farvelægninger, ikke? Okay, hun har lidt svært at sige noget. Well, Victoria just had to say thank you to Tine. We got a really nice... Uh, little parcel with some nice sweet surprises and uh, Victoria is very excited about it and she loved it she is, she's just a little bit shy so saying thank you like on camera was difficult but anyway she's gone back to bed so we will be beginning with this and thank you so much Tina it was really beautiful and all those little ornaments they're just absolutely wonderful and the little um, stuff you've written it was so beautiful thank you it was very warm and sweet of you. So, yeah, we're gonna be doing this bucket. And yeah, I'm gonna break out those sick, sick, clean color, real brush. And those are real brush. I'm gonna be playing with them again because that was such beautiful colors. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna, hi Rose Anthony and Walder, nice to see you guys. I'm gonna go and share a couple of places giving you a chance to get yours downloaded and printed out. And if you like, feel free to share the video. The more, the merrier. You know, the more people we can get in and have fun with us, uh, the more fun we'll have and uh, the more colored examples we'll see. You know, that's the fun part. So, yeah, let's get going. I'm just going to share. I'll be back in two minutes. So, yes, we've got it shared, and I am back, and I'm ready to get going, and let's color. So, yeah, we're going to take these away. We're not going to be using them today, not right now at least. So, they're going to go over here, and I can clear them out later. And I've been working hard today because Victoria was out in the cinema with a friend, and now I can with them. So, I'm going to start, and somebody's going to go to bed, uh, if we can get to that point. So, yeah. She's, uh, do you say? Okay. There's all kinds of excuses, but I guess the ones with the children, you know all those kinds of excuses that are very common. So, I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'll probably be popping out all of these colors just to, to do it again. And I think I'm going to start with yellow here. I'm going to start with yellow here. I'm going to start with yellow here. And 
here and here. This is going to be totally different than yesterday. I'm going to do it on all of these swirly ones. Just start with the yellow. At the very small ends. We have one here and here. Yeah, I think I'll even do these in here. You know that? Nah, maybe I'll wait with those till after. I'll do those big ones first. So that's my yellow. Um, then I'm going to go for the darker yellow. Because I have so many, there's 80 colors in this set, so that's really cool. So I'm going to continue with a little bit darker yellow. Just going on here, I hope you guys can see a little bit. Soon you'll see more because this is just little tiny places where we're just beginning to start out. And um, it's going to be fun. And I really, I mean, I, I was so impressed with these last time I colored with them. So I just felt like doing it again because they're really cool to work with. Absolutely cool. Though I'm still like a little bit afraid that, you know, a few sing them because then we'll lose them up. No, I hate that. So I'm going to use this orangey, the first orange. I was really impressed with the colors, the way it lay down. Where it can control that tip, uh, the way that it takes no effort to transfer and everything. So, yeah, I was looking forward to try to work with them again. And what better chance on this Mr. Buckhead? I think he will enjoy to get some wild colors on him. Uh, you might not see a Buckhead, you might see something completely different. And that is the fun of these that we all see what we want, and a little bit darker orange I'm going to go for. Yesterday was fun with the color blending. We'll definitely do that again. Also where we try to shade warp more, and doing some other effects. So this was a darker orange. So I'm just going to be going through these colors and get him really nice and full of it. I think that would be neat. Hello, Heather. Nice to see you. And there was this one that I thought was a bit neony. But I'm still not going to use it. There's a red. So I'm going to use the other. So I'm just going to be uh, a racist towards that uh, orange neon. I, I, that's probably pretty mean of me. I don't know. But uh, that's life. I just don't like the neon orange one. And I haven't even tried it, so I really have nothing to base my decision on, do I? I'm just being horribly prejudiced against a color. Ooh. But it's because it doesn't scan so well. Neon colors never scan well. And you know, I might want to scan it and, and use it for poster or a sticker. It could be pretty neat as a sticker, this one, I think. And if I want to do that, I should avoid any neon colors because they will look dull. This is also why I don't use the... I don't use glitter pens because they don't scan well. Um, so I, there's no... there's no real use for me because a lot of the times I will scan Especially stuff like this because it's great for t-shirts, it's great for bed linen and other stuff where I can, I can put it on products, uh, also colored because, you know, it looks good, and stickers. But if I put something on that won't scan well, then I will have ruined it. So that's something to consider if you're coloring for something, especially if you're coloring for cover then you want to think about this fact of the neon colors and the little gel pens because even though it looks great live and on pictures, it won't look great on a scan. It's an important thing to remember as a colorist if you're going to go in for color challenges and cover challenges and if you want to scan your, your colored, then it's a good tip to remember that because it will ruin 
the scan. But it will just not be. It will just be a dull color that doesn't give what you saw when you were using it and what you see when you see the real thing you did. You won't see that. So we don't want that. And I was working on the weirdies today to prepare for a weirdie day. And I've prepared everything so far. January, February, March, April. I prepared. So I had some I had got a lot of stuff done. Uh, it's always nice to get some of the boring stuff done. It's more like, you know, doing the image for for the pay hip where you can download the page. It's like, you know, a promotional picture so that you can see it. And then the page where you, that you get in the download where the date is written and um, my name is written on it. And then the banner, because I will be changing the banner daily so that you guys will know that now there's the next one, the next day, and this is the one of the day. So it will be easy to follow. Um, so it's going into browns here. This is like a dark red. Dark, dark, almost brown. Not gonna read the names of the colors this time, but I really like this set. It's, it's very, very, uh, very beautiful brush pens. And really easy to work with. And the colors, they are just awesome. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving them. And uh, the, the, it's just easy to control, a joy to work with. So I've been through that. And you know, I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to go into those browns again. I mean, I did the last time, and it, and it is nice, but I'm not really up for it today, I think. Today I just want vibrant colors. So I'm going to take the browns out here. I'm also going to take these browns away here. I want to get in towards my greens and my. I want to get those greens away. And I want to get to my pinks. Let's see here. So. I want to get to these pinks. There they go. There's some kids for me. I'm going to transfer into purple, I think. I think. Let me see one of those purples. I don't want the skin ones, then I'll take up two. I just, if this is an annoying box, I have to find something else to put them in so that I can easily see the colors and get them out so I don't have to sit and mess about like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go into things from here. I'm gonna take out this one that's neon. So that's gonna go over here. And then I think I'm gonna go that way. Maybe this one is a little bit too much flesh. And I think I'm gonna go that way and then we'll go with purples after. I'm sorry that it's so messy, but this box is a, it's not really made ideally for picking out the colors. So that's the only down part I have about the box. So this is a darker pink that I'm putting on after that almost a bodeo. Bodeo, bodeo, bodeo. So I will have to remember to scroll a bit. Remember to push the button and say you like me so I can see those little funny thingies. Uh, it also shows a bit of interaction on my statistics on Facebook so they don't ask me all the time to up my interaction or whatever. They're always trying to sell me uh, advertisements and stuff like that. It's really annoying. Um, it's kind of like, you know, those people who are selling horoscopes. Like, you know, if they if they knew so goddamn much about you, they would also know that your bank is empty and you can't possibly buy their stupid horoscope. Duh. I mean, that's the first mistake. That's like, okay, so you know and you have so much to tell me about my future. You've, you're clairvoyant. You've read my mind. 
but uh, you just want me to pay like uh, this and this and that uh, to get my full reading. But you know, if you really know that much about me, you already know that I don't have that money. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> I always, I always find it abundantly funny. It is something that I laugh about a lot, you know. But I guess it works in some cases. So this is fun. I think it's going to be a fun one, a fun buggy one. So, um, what did you guys do today? Did you do anything fun? I was just working, 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 sitting on the computer, working and nonstop actually. I think I stopped once and had a little bite to eat, which was not a lot. I actually should eat something more, but maybe afterwards before I go to bed, I don't know. Um, I often, you know, if Victoria is not here, I forget to eat because then I'm busy doing something and I think, oh yeah, when I'm finished with this, I'm just going to go eat a little bit. And then, you know, then I get started on something new and then I just continue and then all of a sudden the time has passed. And, uh, yeah, that happens. I bet it happens to most of us sometimes. So this is going to be fun. This could have been the other way around. That order would have been nicer. But, you know, that's I have to do something about ordering these nicely and I have to make a nice color chart so I can sort of really see. So I'm going to use my color companion. So I just got a kiss from my daughter and she is going to head straight off to bed again. Just be safe. Yeah. She wanted a kiss. So yeah, she got that. Yeah. So this should have been that order at least. You still be live here, you love it all. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, my daughter is here again. Uh, she wants to say thank you to Tina again. Thank you, Tina. It was like that. Well, like Tina. <laughs> okay, yeah, well. What excuses we don't use to not stay in bed, you know? We will come up with everything just to, to like have a good excuse for, for being out of bed. No, it's just because I wanted to say thank you again. <laughs> oh, that's a long drive. And is it slippery there? Because, I mean, here in Copenhagen, we don't really get that slippery because of the heat in the streets. But I guess over there is, is worse. You also get more frosty, no? Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. So, yeah. So, this is... I have to figure, I have to get these in, in a good order, so that will be uh, a color chart I'll have to do so that I can really do a good, uh, you know, that they sort of mix them up nicely. Because I don't think they're in the right order right now. I think actually a couple of them should go out of the order. I think it could help if it was like this. So we'll see. But it's getting to know the colors as well. It's a very good thing. So yeah, I'll have fun with these. We'll get somewhere with them. I think that they're, they're perfect to work with, that's for sure. <laughs> ah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. She's happy for that. She did leave already again. She's just she's looking for any excuse to not sleep. I don't know where she gets that from. Da, da, da. <laughs> no, but it's just, you know, she's, she can hear me talking and she's curious and it's normal, I guess. 
This one I think is going to go over here. And then we're going to have to go like, I think we're going to go like this. And this, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to go with this one first. And we're going to go purple on it. So yeah. And I'm, yeah, I'm still snotty as you can hear. Uh, it tends to stick with me if I get something, so I'm used to that. Uh, it's not that bad. It was worse before when I had that in my throat. That was not so much fun. This is not fun either, but it's not uh, It's not bad. It's just being snotty and a bit of fever, so I can live with that. Uh, but yeah, I prepared all those images and I've been thinking a lot. It was nice to get those books sent out. Uh, it's nice to get those winners drawn. I hope that everybody will be be happy with their books. Uh, nice. Oh, I love horses. I used to ride horses when I was young. I always, uh, it was, it was great. But when I moved to Spain, I, I stopped riding horses because the way they treat the horses most places there, I didn't want to support that. It is, um, they have a lot of places they have very little respect for the animals so I actually had more opportunity because it was of course cheaper there to ride but I didn't I didn't want to support it because it just made me sad to go to the two places they weren't really ideal for the horses anyway so yeah so now I'm thinking this is gonna be <coughs> neat <coughs> sorry since you were six years old, that's nice. Then you can't live without them, that's for sure. If you've had horses that long. Yeah, I, I wish I was living in a place where you could have animals. We can't even have a dog here. I used to have a dog, but he died. Uh, but where I live now, we can't even get a new dog or cat or anything. Because it's against the against the rules in the apartments. So uh, it's funny because we've had it up for a vote and it's just like one vote missing to get it. And there's other people who does have them here where we're living. And uh, I don't see why we just don't let everybody have them. Animals, you know, like dog or cats. And I remember when we were discussing it, uh, you know, there was one guy who said, well, I don't want my child to run into a dog on the stairway. And I'm like, oh, and what can possibly happen if your child runs into a dog on the stairwell? What is so disastrous about that, that your child will get to know and respect an animal? Could that possibly be bad? I mean, come on, I never heard anything as stupid as that. You know, there's stupid people everywhere. Uh, that's the thing that's hard to avoid in life. Stupidity. It's funny. I mean, it's, it's, it's so funny. That it's, it's tragic, you know, tragical. That people are so um, cut off and short about that. Uh, because any child can only benefit from getting to know animals and respect them. Uh, it's a great, it's a great teacher of love that is animals, and it will always give you a good experience, you know. And and to learn to respect and treat animals nicely when your child is sort of, you know, essential. It's crucial. It's kids like that that get kept away from them because their parents are weird. Uh, that will grow up and be mean to animals because they don't understand the love that an animal carries. 
So yeah, it's kind of one of the things that can upset me a little bit. I may be very annoyed. So yeah, now I got this. I got a. I should actually know. I should have done differently, but I was distracted by my own thoughts. That happens. Distracted by my own thoughts. That sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? So now we're gonna go to a lighter purple. But anyways, who says everything has to be perfect rainbow? We can also just play with colors. So. Besides, I think my snotty nose is sort of bucking my head in, so I might not be optimal. You know, I might not be fully on. Maybe parts of my brain are like closed down. <laughs> Probably. Mostly likely. So, I think that now it's a lighter one again. I think we're gonna have to do something drastic soon here because I'm not really happy with it. Uh, right now, I'm not happy with this uh, coloring that I've done so far, so I'm like, oh. But you know, sometimes you feel like that, that it's just, just not going the way that you want it. And that's because of that box that I don't have the colors in the order that I want them, and they're difficult to pick out, and, and uh, I need to fix that at least. Um, but I still think, you know, we'll end up with something that will be nice. Now we're just going to continue. Often it's like you feel like, oh, but this is not the way I wanted it or whatever. But if you then continue, in the end it will still look good. Yeah, maybe. Possibly. In this case I'm not really sure. But let's go with the flow, you know, I think it will be changing. So now that I have this down, I'm going to try to see if I can sort of switch it up a bit. Um, now that purpley, I think I'm going to go with this one. This was a nice one, I think. Yeah, I think that will fit nicely in here. I'm going to try to switch it over and save it a little bit. And we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. So, we'll see if I get more pleased with it. And I, I was so much looking forward to Mr. Bucket and these brushes. And now I'm just like, I screwed up on the, on the order of the colors. See, that happens. Even, well, you know, as I always say, it only happens to the best of us. Yeah, so it will be fine. We'll switch it up a bit, and uh, then I think you know we'll go from here, and that one will switch into a more. Well, I think it's gonna go into this pink. Yeah, that goes well. <coughs> so we're gonna be doing this here. This is a bit late for me to print out a new one and just start over when I'm on camera, no? I couldn't do that, couldn't possibly do that. That would be like giving up, I would be going against my principles of not giving up and just going with the flow. So I can't do that, but we'll get here somehow. Now we just had that herbal thing that went working in there and now we're gonna move on and then it'll just be uh... <laughs> Okay, that's good. Hmm. I'm loving my buck. I, I mean, this one was a fun one to draw. I had a lot of fun with him when he was developing and I started seeing him coming through. It was so fun. But I always have that with all my, all my drawings. I have fun. It's a, it's a nice process. And I really do like the, the result. I like the flows and 
and all the different possibilities. And it's the same as you can also, you know, turn him around and then he's all different. Then it's a different kind of vision you get and a total different idea. So yeah, always remember to do that before you start coloring actually, to see which which way it makes more sense to you, which way you see more, give it a little bit of time to look at it and see, oh, what do you do what do I see on this way and what do I see on that way? And um you know, so it makes sense to you. That's important too. So yeah, now I've done that one. We'll be going into the rats. So I think that would be neat. The thing that is nice is that this one has a lot of area, so even that, you know, you can even it out if you weren't totally happy with the colors you picked up to begin with or the sequence of the colors, you know, you can sort of even it out in the process so that it looks natural, I hope. <laughs> but I think it will be pretty cool anyways. Um, so I didn't do a lot of other stuff than just working with this. I watched a movie that was really weird. Uh, while I was working, I'm doing like something that's really tedious, like making images, uh, you know, like promo pictures where I'm just using images that I already got. Then uh, I will have a movie going in the background. I'll be more or less listening it than seeing it, more listen than see. And this was kind of a weird, weird movie. Uh, yeah. I don't even know, I don't even remember the name. But it was a weird movie and it was all like noise, noise, noise and almost no uh, no dialogue. So I didn't really catch what was going on. But there was like orcs and elves and fairies and kind of stuff like that. But very strange. I think it was with Will Smith. With Will Smith. It's a new one on Netflix. But I don't remember. Bright? I think it's called Bright. Might be called Bright. Yeah, it was a weird movie. Because it was more noise than it was really dialogue. And since I'm working, so I don't have my eyes on the movie, I hear more of it. So I didn't really, didn't really catch a lot of that, just all the noise. And then sometimes Will Smith would say something, yeah, more or less, you know, funny or whatever. I don't think it was supposed to be a funny movie, though. But you can never really be sure. You can never really tell. Uh, sometimes they sort of mix that action and, and that in. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to switch back. Uh, because I have those rounds here, then it makes sense to switch back and get that sequence going on the other way. Or at least it makes sense to me. So that's, see you later, have a nice evening, Louisa, Tina, I'll see you later. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to continue here, it's going to in, inside here, that pink, but it's going to go outside too. So I'm sort of reversing what I started before. Um, I think that's going to be neat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go here. As long as you sort of continue it, even if you weren't happy with the beginning of it, it will look, it will form, a, it will pan out, I think, to be something that will look nice anyways. Sometimes I go for too many colors. I should, I should try to do somewhere I limit my color palette to like maybe just four or five colors. Maybe we should do that in the next one, you know, like suggest suggest four colors that I work with, only those four. And uh, that could be fun uh, to try to just do that. We'll see. Maybe, maybe it's four, maybe it's four. So I was actually thinking that I was going to go with the markers that I usually use for blending. And just go with the cyan and the red and the 
what the cyan magenta and the, the yellow just to sort of see the blending effect if you just use those four basics this sort of for an exercise but I also really like to find the perfect green blue red and yellow uh, to make a very nice optical effect um, but it has to be the perfect ones that go well next to each other so here we go I have been thinking a lot about fun stuff to do and also fun stuff to maybe do on my Patreon and I really do think that the draw and finished work could be fun on Patreon also because it's specific and, and different I don't know I have no idea if anybody would be interested in uh, and something like that from me but of course patreon is where you sort of sign up and you pay a little amount I would not be having tons of tires because I don't believe that believe in it I would have one tire only and um, that tire would get you everything in whatever I do uh, on patreon so I won't have like I mean I might I don't I won't guarantee anything but still, you know, I don't think that there should be too many tires. And I, I think maybe there would be one if you just want to contribute, like, a small amount every month. But I don't, I don't, I, I think I'll just, you know, make one basic that will get you all the contents and that's it. Uh, that's how I have it now. But I might have to adjust that. Uh, but I don't know if you have any suggestions or ideas. Or something that you would like to see you let me know and I'll consider it in my future plans um, because uh, it's important what you think and what you're interested in seeing from me I mean because you know you could be interested in seeing something that I didn't even think about so yeah that's uh, for you guys to think about come up with some suggestions there's one thing about these where I can say, you know, like, they don't really stick well on. So um, I like when, when the tip can stick on. Uh, that's kind of pleasant. So, yeah. That was just my dad passing by. That happens quite a lot. Uh, well, not so much lately because he's been having problems with his shoulder. So he's been having to relax and not run around so much. But I guess he's not having as much pain today, so he's more up and about. So that's a good sign that he's not in horrible pain. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting this. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be funny. So I'm going on with the purples here. And I think that I'm gonna. Well, this one is lighter. I think this one is a lighter one. Uh, going into the darker purple. Switching up the sequence a bit. Not a lot, but just a bit. To make it fit better. That's what I really wanted. But that's a question of getting to know. And here you see how much I actually miss having made a real color chart first where I can sort of see uh, which sequence I want them in and that's what I usually do with the new pencils and, and pens uh, markers everything material I want to see those colors and work with them a bit before I start coloring with them I thought it was sufficient that I had the uh, I had done the coloring the other day, but I still, I mean, I love these colors. They are so vibrant and alive. And, um, and Mr. Buckhead is going to be a very pretty Buckhead. That's for sure. And then, you know, this will go in pinks and purples. Um, and then I will switch it up inside, I think. Have different areas. He's going to be a colorful one. It's going to be one thing that's for sure. Um, 
And tomorrow, I think, uh, our friend from Ireland invited us to go to the experimentarium. It's sort of a place where you, it's fun for kids. There's a lot of experiment things there, and it's actually pretty educational. The school goes there a lot, but it seems to be Victoria's favorite place. So Carl was like asking, do you want to go to the zoo? And she was like, I'd rather go to the experimentarium. And then, of course, yeah, cool, then we'll go there. Also, that's inside, so if it's bad weather, that's a pretty good uh, good thing, <laughs> if it's bad weather. Then I don't have to, like, be freezing outside. So we're going to go there tomorrow, 1 o'clock. So I don't know what time exactly we'll be back. But, you know, probably not very late. I mean, yeah, it will be evening before we're back. We're going to be there for some hours, and then I think we're going to go to McDonald's, he said to eat something after. Um, so that would be a nice excursion out for us. See something different and get out of the house for my part because I don't get out that much. Um, so we're going to have fun with that. Let's see what, how much fun that will be. So yeah, looking forward to doing that. I'm still trying to make up my mind. I think we'll go to a friend of mine for New Year's. She invited us, um, me and Victoria, and she has a son that Victoria and, and him, they get along really well. Uh, we met them this summer on a, on a holiday uh, where we went with a, with a help organization here that invited us on the summer holiday. And um, it was really nice. And they met there and they just clicked these two kids because they were both totally into Pokemons. So they had a great time chasing Pokemons. I still don't see the idea in that, but that's fine. If they're having fun, that's good. So yeah, so I think we might gonna do that. Um, it is must pain no new pain. Som jeg havde gemt. Det er jo udsolgt i alle super. Okay, så ja. Cool. Fucking. Ja. Det er nice. Sorry. Vi did this last year too. I didn't hide it well enough. It's because the marzipan and, and the nougat is really expensive. And I had bought just one pack of each and I was saving it for New Year's. So, yeah, now it's gone. God, I'm angry now. Sorry, guys. That really, really blew my mind. Also because most of the the shops don't even have it anymore. It's all like sold out. And I know that he ain't gonna buy it because he didn't last year. He just took it all and ate it. And then there was nothing left. And he did the same with the, with the other Christmas candies. But those Victoria hit this year. But I forgot about that marzipan and the mocha. So yeah, nice. The Christmas... Uh, Candies are fucking devoured. That's ah, that's so rude. That's really, really rude. Because we've been saving it, then we might as well just have eaten it. Or well, we could have eaten it. Why didn't we just eat it? Well, next year we'll just eat it. That was really rude. But yeah, I guess some people just don't really think. Uh, that much. I don't understand why, but I guess that's just the way it is. I mean, I would be thinking that this is for my granddaughter, not for me. Um, but I guess, I guess my dad doesn't think like that. Let's see. Yeah, I think these are gonna go over here. 
And this blue. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's gonna go in there. Well, anyways, we have these blues, then we'll take this one all out. And I'll try to forget about that marzipan thing, the candies uh, being eaten. It's really annoying, things like that. That's the one thing that's annoying about sharing a house. If people don't respect each other's things, and especially with the food, you know. I mean, I don't mind sharing, but I do mind if you have something special. I mean, you can take something special if you replace it. That's fine. But if you do not replace it, then you should keep your fingers off it. I don't take stuff that I can't go down and buy that is his. I don't do that. I, I leave it. Let me try. Du skal i seng? Nej. Jo, det må du godt, men du skal i seng. So yeah, and my daughter won't sleep. This is like a perfect evening. Uh, Mr. Bucket is not turning out to be right, and my dad just ate all the all the goodies that I saved because I wanted to make like a, you know, you mix this marzipan with the with the nougat and then you put a chocolate outside or something and some nuts and stuff and I wanted to make one of those to bring to my friend on New Year's, you know, to bring something special uh, because she invited us and this, she would buy the food and do the cooking and everything and she said I didn't have to think about using money and then I was just saving it to bring it there. It's really annoying. It, oh, it blows my mind. Did he even do it like without even asking? And he was hiding the plate. I was, and then I could see. Anyways, yeah. I think he's probably, you know, he's old. That's why. And it's not his fault that he doesn't. He just never learned, I guess. My mom told me that you don't do that kind of things. But my dad never learned that when he was a child, I guess. It's not very much fun because he did it last year when Victoria and I, we had to go and make the stuff together because you sort of sit and work with it. And it's fun to have fun with, but it's something that I save and, and I really, you know, it's not something we just take out. And I didn't take it out on Christmas Eve because there were so many people here. So I thought it's better that we save it a bit uh, so that it's more special just for her and me. And, and I thought it would be perfect that we work with it and make it together for, for New Year's to bring along as a, as a present. So yeah, that sort of ruined my plan. So now I'll have to come up with a new plan. <laughs> but I'll make a new plan and we'll get things done. It's just... Uh, next time I'll put it in my bedroom. But it's just, yeah, it's too hot, but I, I, I will put it in my bedroom. And then uh, it will be in the cupboard and nobody can take it. I'm going to do that next year. Then we won't lose it again. Because this is his second year in a row. In a row. So this blue is really lovely. I'm going to have to get over it. I'll take a sip of uh, wine and I'll take a chill pill. <laughs> I'll take a chill pill. <laughs> and that is, I don't have any chill pills. I have, I have to draw a chill pill then to chill me the right down. So this is what I use chill pills for when I get so <laughs> annoyed that the, uh, yeah, so actually it's time for a chill pill, but now I'm coloring, so I can't just like stop in the middle of this and do a chill pill, can I? So we're gonna continue coloring and I'm gonna like get into a more relaxed state. Um, I bet he thought I wouldn't say anything because I was in a live camera. Yeah, thought he could just sneak it past me and then I wouldn't say nothing because I was on a camera. No, no, no. No, I can't keep my mouth shut about things like that. No, not when it's so unfair. <laughs> so yeah, well, it's just candy. It's, uh, it's not uh, my life, you know. I'll get over it. Victoria will get over it. We got over it last year. 
And we still talked about it this year, and Victoria said we have to hide it, and I said, nah, nah, it's okay. But um, she was right. She was right about that. <laughs> it's funny that you have to hide candy for a grown up, grown man in the house, you know. He's 73. You shouldn't be having to hide candy from him. It's funny. Especially when it's candy for his grandchild. So yeah, that was that. That was really pretty. And then, you know, I'm missing, the only thing I'm, I'm actually missing in the set, I think, I'm missing some light blues. Now that I'm looking, I don't think that there's a lot of light blues. There's like three really dark blues, four dark blues. There's one very light blue that's almost gray. And then there is, oh, there's another blue here. That must be the light blue. But that's too light. Um, that's too light to make like the transition. So yeah, there's, there's a few. There's, okay, yeah, there's two light blues. I could try them just to see them, you know, go with those three last blues just to see what they're like. But I think this one is more gray. It's called Shadow Mauve. I know that I liked it last time, uh, but I don't think that it will fit in the sequence really because I want to go over to, to the turquoise. So yeah, I'm going to dump them and then I'm just going to move on to turquoise. A little bit I tell them must paint and okay. Yeah. My daughter is moving into my bed to sleep. Uh, I gave her permission to do that. I know then she will be quiet and fall asleep quicker and it will be okay. Uh, and she will just be there when I get to bed. And she'll be sleeping and she has a cute little snore. And it's incredible. I don't know if you guys have kids. Um, these little ones, they're so small, even when they're tiny, you know. They can really take up a lot of space in a bed. That's always, that amazed me when, when she was little, even when she was like three years old, how much space she would take up of my bed and how I would be like, and I have a big double bed, and I'd be like falling out of the bed because she's like a little magnet. You know, if, if she's in the one end of the bed, I'll be in the other. And then this little magnet will just like, in her sleep, come closer and closer until she's like right in my face. And then, you know, if I then move over to the other side, the same thing will happen. So this is like, and uh, oftentimes I end up sleeping on a tiny, tiny piece and I'm falling out of the bed. This is why I was insistent at a point that she should try sleeping in her own bed. But I do understand that it is much nicer to sleep in my bed. It's much more cozy and, and it's nice to wake up in there and, yeah, I can understand it. And it is also nice for me. She's, she's the sweetest person in the whole world, and I love her. So, yeah. I'll just have to get used to the fact that she fills up a lot of space in her bed. And, um, but that's cute and funny. She did, she's not, it is not as bad now that she's a little bit older as it was when she was little. And she would really take up a lot of space. She's so funny, but she's so pretty when she's sleeping, you know, that little sweet face and yeah they're, they're sweet so now we're going to go over to the greens there's a light green here i think it's changing nicely on the paper i like how strong and vibrant these colors are they really have great pigment uh <clears throat> i don't know how light fast they are i don't know um i'll have to look it up but usually japanese products are quite great. Hello, Julie. Nice to see you. And Heather, good to see you. Um, and Sandra, nice to see you too. So yeah, I'm gonna. I, I will look if they're light fast. Maybe just hang it up and see how how much it works. You know, but you know, if it's not that light fast, you can get some frames, some glass that will protect it further. Uh, especially if you're working with aquarelle, because aquarelle, even the most beautiful quality of aquarelle, will uh, fade if you're not using some special glass that will prevent the sun from fading it. And still, even if you have that special glass, you still shouldn't hang it in direct sunlight, uh, because it will, it will uh, ruin it quite quickly. So we're transitioning into 
greens. Um, and here again, I'm missing a few greens. But I think it's just because I have to sort of get into the to the whole series of these uh, pens. Um, but this is more turquoise -y. I think this one will be better turquoise -y to make that transition. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice one. Oh, I love this one. What's it called? Turquoise green. Okay, turquoise green. Cool. That's just a fitting name. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I got another kiss. Nu skal du ikke komme ind mere, skat. Nu skal du sove. I told her now she really has to sleep. No more, no more coming in. It also takes a little bit of my concentration away when constantly. That's why, you know, I, I mean, I do it late because I know that you guys are on at this hour, but I also do it late because usually both my daughter and my father are asleep at this point which means that it will be quiet for me and nobody will be running back and forth and around and, but I guess I was wrong because they are both like absolutely uh, active today so yeah I, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing <laughs> but they are definitely both very much awake so I'm going to go with this green afterwards and see how that goes in. It's also a very nice color. And I do, I have to say, that these brushes are exquisite. Uh, yeah, they are. I looked up, I, I think it was like almost $100 for a set. Let's try to look. It's quite, quite pricey. But it's, uh, I think even the... Faber Castell ones are even more expensive, um, but that's an old brand. I don't know how old this brand is, but they're definitely good. And this is real brushes. This is not like, you know, a fiber tip that they call a brush. It's a real brush. So I like, I like that part. So we think we're going to... No, I'm going to go totally different inside. I'm just going to finish this off. Then I'm going to go totally different inside. It's actually taken me quite a while to get to this point, but it's also because I keep getting distracted. Um, so I'm going to go with this one first, maybe. So, yeah. Incredible. I can't believe he took it. I mean, he must have, I mean, he can't have forgotten how angry I was last year. But obviously he must have, or he just does have no respect whatsoever. It's a lack of respect that bugs me the most, you know. So anyways. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to. I think definitely gonna go to my friends for New Year's. That would be way nicer than me cooking here. And yeah. So we'll see. I think actually these screens are pretty vibrant. But all of the colors here are vibrant, and that's what I love about them. Uh, but it's also what's blocking me a bit to, to get the right shades after each other. I think you really have to um, do some nice color testing with them in order to get the good sequences. And these, you know, I wouldn't recommend blending the same way as we did yesterday. That I don't think would, uh, you can't put tip to tip with these. That would not be good um, because these are brushes. I don't know if you can see how fine they are. Like, they're really fine brushes. Really beautiful brushes. <coughs> Whoever came up with them was brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant invention. So yeah, now we've got, got this and we can end it up 
in a nice yellow so we can close off from where we started. Um, whereas a little bit longer ones, we will go a little bit further, of course. But um, you can sort of get back at least here, uh, which will be very nice. And then we got that sequence up there. I think that is going to work very well for us. Um, so, yeah, so I'm happy with it. I'm getting more happy with it. <laughs> I didn't do any drawing yet, Julie. Uh, I was actually thinking that I should do a twisted tilt build because I got like a little bit stressy, but uh, I'm good now. So, uh, no twisted chill pill right now. We are in the middle of covering, so I won't stop just, just to just just to chill out. Maybe I'll do one after, so that I can calm right down. Uh, so yeah, this is nice. We are like yellow. It's a good yellow. So we have this yellow, and now that we're moving in and we're closing in on those, I want to start some yellow inside, uh, so we sort of don't forget that we are moving on afterwards. So I have yellow here, and I want to have some yellow uh, that is going on here to start this sequence around here. And then I want to start up with some yellow up here we are going to work that down uh, into here, I think. And um, I also want to do that here. I want to do it 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 here. So now I've started a lot of different places with the yellow. And I have these here. I have that's going to spread out. So this is going to take care of itself and spread out and I will have a yellow just right there to start this sequence. And then I think I will actually not have any more here. Yeah, I'll do it here, I think. Here is a good place. So yeah, now I have a lot of places that I have to remember. And now I'm going to start a new sequence of uh, colors. So I'm going to take these away a bit. And um, so that I can pick and choose. So from this one, I'm going to go to the little bit darker yellow. Uh, I'm going to try to pick only like two of each. I really have to get these laid out better. Uh, so we're going to go with a darker yellow. And I'm going to continue that here. And then I'll do these parts, the little parts here that I'm, I started on, so that we're moving on and uh, digging fully into this one. Um, so you will see that it will start developing a little bit faster now um, because I'm spreading, spreading it out here. Inside there and outside there. So we can all around with it. It's nice to 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 work with. Moving there, there, and here. It's really very controllable. Is anybody coloring with me? Haha, <laughs> that's good, Julie. Aww, oh, oh. That's really nice. Ah, you're not getting... I can understand that. I can understand that. Also, the kitty wouldn't like the disturbance of you moving about and all that. Um, once you settled in, you settled in. I have my drink, so I'm happy. I have both my drink and a glass of Coca-Cola. So that sort of helps a lot. So we get it in there with this one. And I know that I did begin it here. That was here, yeah. It's 
It's going to be neat. It's, yeah, it's going to be really neat. So now we have those two yellows that we're going to go for two oranges here. Uh, I like the orange. So we're sort of continuing that sequence that started it all. But some of the colors I'll be taking out in here so that we get a little more to the rainbow. I hope. This is neat. So I'm going to go here. I think actually these you can also uh, blend when they're next to, next to each other on the paper uh, with good results. When they're still wet, they probably have to be fast because they do dry up quite quickly. Uh, but it depends which paper you're using, I would guess. But it's really, really lovely colors. And they dry up even stronger than what they lay down. So you do get nice effects on them. And very consistent. Just the whole smoothness of how they go on is, is really nice. I'm enjoying that a lot. Uh, they're great to work with. Definitely, I think they're quality product. The quality product that, uh, that I'm very satisfied with. So. Yes. And we're going to go with the next orange. I like it. I'm getting happy with it. So that's nice because I was dissatisfied at a point with uh, how it was turning out. So I'm happy that I'm feeling a little bit better with it. But it's normal that you can get a little bit annoyed with the, with the picture. I mean, the thing about when you get annoyed is, you know, not to let it like fill up too much. That's what I sometimes do if I hadn't been sitting with you guys, if I hadn't been on the live, I would probably have torn up the picture and printed a new one. Ah, that sounds nice, Rose. Fancy watercolor. That sounds really great. <laughs> but that sounds great. Yeah, this is also watercolors, but they're just already brushes. Um, so uh, they are nice to to work with, and they're very fine tip. So they're also easy to work with, and I enjoy everything. If it's something that makes my life easier, and I can I can do things in a nice way that I I appreciate, uh, then I like it. And definitely, these are are definitely making life easier. Because if I was sitting with the watercolors and, and brushes, it would take me forever, I think. <coughs> Which could be nice too, but wouldn't maybe it wouldn't be fitting for a live video because it would take a long time for me if I did that. Ah. And my nose is totally stuffed again. So if you can hear me breathing, it's because I can't breathe through through one of my nostrils. I guess we all are in that season where it's just, uh, well, it depends where you live, of course, how cold it is or, you know, here in Denmark, this, the snotty season is all winter, I think. <laughs> winter is the snotty season. So yeah, this, I'm, I'm happy with it now. It's developing more like I wanted it to, so that helps a lot on my mood, except for that little candy thief. I really hate that kind of thing. So now I got this one settled, which is nice. Then I can just sort of fill out what I what I missed here, because I wanted to wait to see where he would get me, and he got me here. So. Now we can sort of just backtrack on these parts down here. Oh, you can't see it. You should tell me when you can't see it. Um, 
let's see I'm just gonna do the lighter one it's only like two colors that I have to put on here this is for it to fit with this here I wanted to wait until I was sure which one it was which one it was gonna be so I like that and then the yellow the darker yellow it is no, the one won't be there. So now I've got that going for it, which is pretty, pretty, pretty. And I'm not missing anything, and I'm a happy girl. So now I'm going to go for the rats. It's going to be nice, it's going to be neat. And this is actually more like a mandarin, I think, or tangerine red. Um, like just in between orange and and red. I really do think that the selection of oranges, reds, pinks in this set are really good. Um, really nice. Uh, you make good sequence with them. They have a ton of greens and browns and grays that I don't personally use a lot. So for me they don't make as much sense as some of the other colors. But I do think it's nice because when you have different sets, you will see that it's different colors that they have emphasis on. Though I think um, usually the one I'm missing the most in, in a lot of sets is the, the purples. I usually, I think there should be way more purples than there are, but there aren't. But it's just the way the world works around the purple. Purple must be a difficult one with the pigment or something. I could of course do some research on that and figure out why the purple seems to be the one that's always uh, not as much there as the others. But this is beautiful when it just lays down like that. Just to see it, it's just wow. Nice. Really nice. Beautiful colors. So, what is is anybody partying on New Year's? I don't think it won't be like party party because it will be just you know kids and us moms and I'm sure we will have a great time. Uh, because I think I'm gonna go there uh, definitely right now. I don't feel like uh, cooking here, but we'll see. I have to talk, there's another friend of mine that I have to talk with tomorrow and uh, because he was going to be sitting alone too, you know, that's not nice either and I know that she will be sitting with her neighbors as well so she's got other people coming. So if my friend is going to be all alone, I think, you know, we might do it with him and uh, there's another girl who was here for for the... Christmas. I think I'm gonna. Is this one the one? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe I made two of the same. It could be. Could easily be, but it will be okay. It will be fun. It will be super fun and dandy. I will be happy. So, now I'm gonna be unhealthy again and smoke while I'm looking at all my colors. I think the colors are turning out. You can really see that they're vibrant, that they are they're crazy vibrant. And I'm still thinking of what to do with my these original ones that I'm getting done. Yeah, I'll probably scan them. Maybe do a giveaway with some of them. I don't know if anybody would be interested in having them. Uh, we might. Do something funny with them. This is neat. On a little tip here. And a little inside here. This is cutie. So I actually think this is going to be continuing up here. But I do think that I'll finish off the face with this. Even though I'm getting messages. Somebody is not aware that I'm doing a live video and messaging me. So somebody's not really following me. Oh. 
No, I'm, I'm making fun. So we'll see here. This is going to be neat. I think, I think he will turn up as a very colorful Mr. Bucket. And a happy Mr. Bucket. Because who won't be happy with all those colors? I mean, be hard not to be that colorful and be not happy. It would be difficult. So, yeah. I should watch more movies. Yeah, I got finally got the results from the cooking contest, and I didn't get it. I didn't get a placement this last week. It was either, but I understand that because I was so offended about the first week, so I didn't really, I didn't really give it my best effort. If you know what I mean, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do my usual big cooking for it. I did for the second one, the, the entry that's in now this week I've done. So I'm hoping that that one might get a placement in the, but it's the final round. So I think everybody's putting out all the stop, stops and everybody's entries look so pretty and beautiful and, and delicious. So, you know, I won't be upset if I don't get a spot, you know. Who cares? If they just love vegans, it's okay, you know. I'll still eat meat. So, I think I have a chance. I have a fighting chance this week, the last final week. And then come January, they will start a whole year. It will be a new, new uh, Steam It Iron Chef of the Year starting up. And I might just up my game, totally up my game. And I'll do, uh, I'll, I wish I could get into this molecular gastronomy, but the thing is you need all this equipment and I don't, I, I can't afford to buy that. But I can sort of maybe try some of the stuff if I can find, some of the stuff might be inexpensive to at least try to do, so I'll try that. I try to see which things are not expensive to try, and then I'll try those. And then I have to really, really practice on my plating, because the plating does a lot for the dishes. So now I'm going to go into the rats, into the dog rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm getting happy with it, because now I'm thinking it's beginning to look, you know, more like what I want. And now this framing around will just be an emphasis, so it is um, it's fixing up what I didn't like about it. So yeah, because I continued and I didn't tear it apart and got up and stomped on it and got really upset, then you know I continued the way I always advise people to do. You know, forget about the mistake and continue. It's good advice. I just rarely follow it myself <laughs> you know it's easy to say it's hard to do when you get disappointed in what you what you've been doing um you know it's always easy to sit there and say no just take it easy it will be fine in the end and just continue and it will work itself out it's really easy to say i know because i say it a lot but it's harder to do because uh, I don't usually, but I did this time and now I'm, now I'm getting happy with it again. I'm starting to see that, that it's shaping up nicely and, and I can start to see that it won't be horrible. It won't be absolutely horrible. Um, and I have been thinking about the drawing for tomorrow. And I do have a few that I've laid out that I was thinking might be good for tomorrow to make for a challenge. Because, you know, New Year's Eve, we won't be doing it. If I am going to them, to my friend's house, I won't be doing live coloring because I won't be home because we will stay overnight there uh, so that we don't have to think about, you know, going home late in the evening on New Year's Eve and, that, that's horrible. I don't like that. And it's also very difficult to get transport and everything at that time. 
And uh, yeah, it's also dangerous because people, they love fireworks here on Christmas. And uh, it's just, it's, it's too much. The fireworks here is too much. It's beautiful if you're inside looking out, then I like it. But you know, if you're outside, it um, is it's just horrific, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. So you see, I might do something here. I might say that, and I might continue this one out here. It might be a mistake, and it might not. Uh, but I think it will be cool. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll work with it. Besides, it's not a mistake. It's just a... Uh, it's how I see it right now. And you have to go with what you see. And this is what I see right now in this one. So, um, yeah, so, you know, and that's also a nice thing that we can stay over to the next day so it won't be stressy. And, uh, and Victoria plays really well with, the, with this boy, so it would be nice and I, I get along with the mom really good she's really sweet and cool to talk with and we actually had a really nice time last time we got together so I think all together it's a win-win for all of us to have a nice evening together so now I'm just gonna backtrack with this one um, just here like that And then here, so it's getting a bit more red here, but I like that. And it's always nice to have some parts that are more red, because I like red. And it's easy for us to backtrack because I have the sequence lying here, so I can easily just backtrack this and, and get my, uh, my nice sequence going. Uh, that's why I like to lay them out on the table when I'm working with them. Uh, especially when the box won't, won't work with me. <laughs> but even if it's in a box that will work with me, then I, I will not use all the colors, so I'll still put them out. Or I will, if it's pencils, I'll turn them the other way around so I know which ones I was using. It's also nice, you know, just to keep track of the order that you, you're working in. Uh, so yeah, that's my little tips of, on how I do it. It's just you have probably your own way of how you do it, but it's always nice to hear how others keep track of the colors that they use. Now I do have a nice setup here because I had a closet in my bedroom that was a sort of a built-in with these sliding doors, but <clears throat> and I took the doors out. And then I used them as uh, tabletops, and I had some shelves that I that I found in the in the trash, and they fit perfect perfectly as legs with these uh, long, big wood. You know, these doors they were huge because they went all the way to the ceiling. And I have two of them put out as tables, and with these um, shelvings underneath, so I have storage underneath. Um, and I have really long tables to work at, so it's a really nice setup. And um, they were wooden, uh, sort of this cherry wood thing. Uh, so I um, I bought some really cheap, like a uh, plastic cloth, uh, plastic tablecloth, and I just put that around them so that I could easily swipe them clean. You know, if I was working with colors and everything, it's easy to clean them. So that's the way I set up my tables here. Um, now we're going to have some more rats. And it's going to be neat. It's going to be neat. This is a darker one. Lovely dark red. Lovely dark deep red. I like that. And I have calmed down somewhat. I will not forget this master pen thing again. Next year, maybe I should buy a vault. I should get like a, a vault. Then I'll put the goodies in the vault. So nobody can take them. <laughs> now next year is definitely um, I'm going to be hiding that candy really well. So that 
the right person will get it. And that is my daughter. She's the one who's supposed to get the goodies. Yeah. The kids are the ones who are supposed to get the goodies. Not, not the old guys. Well, he's supposed to be able to taste the goodies once we've made them, not eat them before we even get to play with them, because it's fun to make it. So, yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be pretty. Yeah. And I can still hear my daughters walking around. But now, you know, she has to come up with a really good excuse to get in here because she was allowed to go to my bed, so. She's thinking, she's probably, her brain, her little brain is like making moving sounds inside, like thinking about an excuse to go, go in here, what she should say, something. <laughs> and just imagine, she's thinking about all kinds of stuff to come up with. So now the question is, should this one be? Yeah, it should probably continue. It should be this one, I think. So we're going to be doing it here, I think. That's going to be neat. So yeah, this, I'm making it complicated for myself here by what I did, but I think in the end, I think it will, it will look pretty great because it will look like this is going in and out of the other one. Yeah. So I think it will look good. I just have to think a bit extra. <coughs> I'm thinking no, I heard anyone. It's actually a very good practice to, to do it once in a while. I recommend thinking daily. Sometimes I overthink things. I think too much. I think so much that I can't sleep. But I am pretty sure I'm not the only one who does that. So it's a, it's a. Sometimes it is in life that you you wonder about things or worry about things, and you just keep on like pushing in your head, and then you can't sleep because you think too much. This can be annoying if you need to sleep. But I guess we all, we all think too much sometimes. That's why we sometimes miss being kids. Because when you were a kid, things were less complicated and there was less things to think about. Or you just didn't think so much about them. So yeah, you can. And that's why coloring, drawing, is good because it's a good escape from from sometimes having too much on your mind, too many things to think about and wonder and consider. So yeah, that's a good thing. And that's where my twisters come in because that's my escape. That's when I well in drawing I I disconnect and and I get to sort of empty my mind and clear out my mind so that it's ready to think about all kinds of new stuff again. So, yeah. I didn't put on music today, I forgot. I forgot about the music. Because that also helps to chill when, if you, when you hear like relaxing music. I very much like... Um, I think it's an Argentinian band. Uh, it's called Madre Deus. Uh, the music is absolutely wonderfully relaxing, especially when you're drawing or or, uh, or coloring. So I recommend you look up Madre Deus. It's uh, beautiful music, very chill. So yeah, nice experience to listen to when you. You just get like in another world, sort of. It will help you get even deeper into the drawing, I think. 
So yeah, I like that. Um, did I do this one more than... Yeah, maybe I'll overdo it, but who cares? This is this is good fun. Then we'll get a pretty drawing. And then we will have had a good time with it. So it's taking longer than I anticipated. I think that's because I got distracted. So I have that now. Now I have to sort of switch in to my more uh, magentas, purplish. So I'm doing that. Switchy, switchy. This is where the. Yeah, this is nice switch. And then I'll try to. Oh, this is lovely. I love this color. This is absolutely my favorite color. Definitely, if I can find that for the hair again, I'm definitely going magenta hair. Now I've been blonde. I, well, I didn't really turn real blonde yet. I still have a little bit of red left over in it. So I might wait until it turns blonde. And then see. It could be nice to have that full magenta hair again. It sort of makes me smile. I think it's because I've been blonde my whole life. Then, you know, when I color it and become some crazy color, uh, then I just feel alive, you know. I feel like smiling every time I look in the mirror. So it just sort of pops it, everything out and, and makes me laugh. So I don't care what people say, you know. People can think whatever they want. As long as I think it's fun, then... Uh, you know, I'm the one who's living with it, so I'm the one who's supposed to be smiling at it and having a good time. So I don't care what others say about if my hair is pink or purple or red or, you know, why not? We're supposed to have fun while we're here. We're supposed to not be, you know, having a boring time and my blonde hair. It's getting more and more dark and more and more like, you know, grayish. When you went, when you're blonde, it doesn't get that, you know, like fancy, neat, uh, awesome gray that some people get, especially like if they've had black hair, they get really beautiful, beautiful gray hair. It sort of gets pissy. <laughs> Sorry, that's not the right word to use, but sort of like piss in the snow yellow, which is not very pretty. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I, I think that, you know, playing around a little bit with color can only make life more fun, especially if your hair is getting busy snowy, this is not funny, so, um, why not? So, I'm going to go for this, it's going to be nice. Yeah, sometimes I'll say funny things if you don't, I mean, just ignore it if you don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll also sometimes be highly sarcastic or ironic or, or have like a, yeah, deep irony and, you know, sort of strange humor. So just, uh, just ignore that. So I'm enjoying that. This is good. Oh, I love this color. <coughs> I think I could do a whole one with just this color. This and black. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah, I think that would be nice. A whole one with just this color and black. That could be pretty neat, I think. Very pretty. So I have one that's a little bit lighter. Definitely not as satisfying a color uh, as the other one, but still a beautiful color. And I mean, I love these brushes. They're just like perfect to work with. Really awesome to work with. So we're getting in there and I think he's developing, Mr. Buckhead is developing into something nice. And I can see I forgot something here. 
which is definitely a place where we should have this magenta going for us. And I actually think, since I like it so much, I'll continue it here. Just, you know, the chance to put a little bit more of it on. This one, I'll run out of this one. Oh, I will definitely run out of this one very quickly. It's so pretty. So now I've got that down, then I can put this, I can put this in the middle here. And I can work it on the outside. Yeah. This is good. I'll work it on the inside here. And then this one will go up there, I think. So yeah. Work it on the inside, work it on the outside. So yeah, we're getting on with it. Very nice. I think it will be brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, you know, it will just be a nice coloring. And uh, something that we had a good time with and fun with, which is important. So I think I'll continue that one up here. You know, in case the drift that it could be going there. So that's fun. So sort of continue that movement up to that eye. That's good. And then we have it down here. This one there. And I think I might switch it totally up after this color. Because the other pinks are too pink. So I think I'm going to switch it over. We'll see. So, yeah. Here. Oh, I did a mistake here. But you know what? I'll do the same on the other side. Then it won't be a mistake anymore. Then it will be deliberate. On purpose. No more mistake. So that is fine. So it's fixed. That's how you fix a mistake like that. Let's do the same on the other side. And bam, it's no longer a mistake. No longer a mistake. So, ah, nice. Hope you had a great dinner. Nice to see it. I'll just do that here too, so I'm carrying on the momentum. And uh, I'll try not to be so, but I can't, I can't really help that my nose is blocked a little bit. It doesn't really even help to, I think I have to get like one of those sprays tomorrow. That is like a deep blocker for the nose. Could be neat. Might be just what I need. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Got a little bit outside of the lines, but that's... Don't worry, don't let the lines limit you. You've come this far, so it's looking good. I have to remember to turn this. It would be nice if sometimes I could hear what you guys were saying, so that, you know, you could say, Oh, Maria, we can't see anything now. you got to turn it. Oh, chocolate is a good thing. Chocolate. I, I got a whole box of chocolate yesterday from my friend from Ireland. He brought me a really nice box of chocolates. So that was very nice. I was very happy with that. I like, uh, I like the chocolates. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to take those pinks away. And then I'm going to go with this purpley pinkish. I think it's this one, actually. I'm going to transition into that because I want to make a switch. And I want to switch it up a bit. Yeah. This is a good one because of the, the colors that it's blended with. It fits in the shade. So even though it's very different, it still fits, I think. Fits in. So I'm getting to know these colors by doing them on, on this, uh, on the, 
actual drawings instead of doing them in my color companion, which I prefer, testing them on. on the, but I will do that too, because I do like to have a record of the color so that I can always just go in and check if there's something I need. Uh, so I will definitely be doing that. But I've gotten to play with them now, with you guys, which is pretty nice. So I know them a lot better now. Which also means that I'll be able to make the sequin ni nicer. Um, which is usually decided when I'm, when I'm on the color template, you know, like trying to see which ones goes where in the, in the harmony that I like to create. So yeah, it's getting there. I think it's, uh, it's going to be pretty fancy and happy. I'd like to have like blues or greens in here with this, that I see these as his eyes. But you know, what if we see him the other way around? What then? Then he's a total different one. Then I see a face down here too. And then I might see the eyes here or something. It's very different than the same. But now I've been coloring him like this. So I'm going to continue with that. I'm not going to mess up my system. Not right now. And I think my system already changed. Uh, because I said blue or greens in there, but I think it will be purples. Uh, because I just see this as continuing naturally here. So that's things that happen. Uh, I want to continue this one there. And then I want to continue this one here. And here. Those will be going into blues. And this one will be fitting in nicely and snugly right here. I think this is, is, is moving in the right direction now. And yes, you can see. I have to remember to just check the screen to see if I'm in or out of the screen. I don't want to be out the screen. That would be annoying. Then I'm just sitting talking and can't see what I'm doing. So, yeah. we'll go there. But they lay down really... No effort at all, no pressure, no nothing. They're just beautiful, beautiful, uh, easy flow. I think most people will enjoy them. Well, of course, not everyone will, because there's always somebody who will absolutely hate them and think they're horrible. I know that. From experience, I know that there's always somebody who will hate it. But that's not what it's really about. This is about I like them. So uh, that's why I say I like them. So if somebody hates them, that's okay too. You know, we can't all love or like the same things. So nothing lost with that. So yeah, that was a pretty neat one to move on to, I think. So now is this what I'm going to move on to after that. I think I'm going to take this one off, and then I'm going to move on to this one. I'm going to take this one off. So I'm sort of sorting a few of them off because I don't want to have them because they are in this sequence, but they won't be in here. I'm going to refine them a little bit inside. Chocolate is good. I also need that chocolate. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was what I was getting away from. That I got a really lovely box of chocolates yesterday. Really nice. Big box of chocolates. So, and I actually opened it with my daughter because now I was thinking I could have, if I hadn't opened it, then I could have brought that one to the New Year's. But I can't because, you know, it's, it's open now. Well, I'll figure out something else. Maybe I'll bring uh, this one colored. It's not the same, you can't eat it. So yeah, this is so we got that one going. It's looking pretty neat, huh? 
I'm liking it now. Remember I hated it for a while? For a while I was not happy with it at all. But now I'm liking it. So that's good. And one of the parts why I'm liking it is because the colors are so vibrant, so alive, you know, they sort of like really come out the paper and it's like immediately when you're coloring with them, you don't see them as being that vibrant and bold. But once they dry up, um, they seem to become even more vibrant. And that's a really nice thing. Whereas when I see the Faber Castells, they are sort of a little bit more on the dull side, more pastel y, which is necess not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it just it depends if you like that. Because definitely also very beautiful colors. And um, I think sets like that do actually complement each other because you have that difference. So let me do that thing in there. Uh, so it can be nice to use that as a, as a combination. When you have something this bright, you know, you can make it even brighter but by having a little bit of a dull color on next to it. It's also a nice effect. Um, I'm going to go there. I'm going to need to do this one. So that looks pretty. That looks pretty, pretty, pretty. And I'm moving down here. I'm quite happy now with it. I'm way beyond the part where I was thinking that it was just not very good. Now I'm thinking it's going to be good. It's got, it's got potential. It's, uh, it's moving up in my book, and I have a purple here now. I just have to see which blue I'm going to go with. But that will come, you know, I'll make decisions when, they, when I come to them. Um, because we're going with the flow here. We're not having anything set in stone. We just move about like we like. No plan. The plan can change. I like that when the plan can change. It's nice when, when it's not all like uh, set in stone and it has to be like that or has to be like that. It's nice when you can be a little bit fluid with what you're going to do. And that's also what I like in drawing, that I don't have a set scheme of what I absolutely want to do. Uh, so I'm quite happy with this. And uh, sometimes, even that you don't like it initially, you will, you know, you will come to develop something that you like in the end. It might surprise you because you might have thought, "Oh no, that is not what I want." But in the end, it might become what you didn't know you wanted, and you realize that you wanted. So yeah, this is good. I'm happy. No plan is the best plan. Yes, exactly. I keep thinking that I'm missing comments, but I'm, I have, there hasn't been so many comments today, so I don't think that I'm missing any at the moment. Um, but I'm very focused right now on, on coloring it. And I think it's going to be a neat and happy one. So like that. It's sort of it's developing nicely. And these lines are... This, these brushes are just perfect for fine lines. I mean, just... You almost don't have to touch and it just goes... Choo -choo -choo. Really neat. Um, great to work with. Uh, only thing that I don't like is that I don't have another set of them. Because if I run out, I'll be, I'll be like, oh no! But eventually I will. It's a fact of life. It happens. So, but they're good right now. 
and I'll enjoy them as long as I can. And we're gonna go, I'm gonna sort out maybe this this blue so that we still have two blues, but a little bit more contrast between the blues. You see it's going really nicely. I think it's going well. And there uh, we go on the blue. I probably forgot something, but I don't care. So, yeah. So we've got this part finished finally. So we're moving on. It's going to be nice here. I do like that flow. And just watching that ink dry is really nice. And there's no smell. Or at least I, I sense no smell, but they're water-based, so there is no smell. Um, so I'm gonna go here. It's just that way that that brush works. I mean, I don't even think the brushes that I use with watercolors, with aquarels, when I use it, are as good as these brushes. I mean, these brushes are just they're perfect because they shape right up where after you use them. They don't sort of, you know. They're really great. And you can go the one way or the other way, and they seem sturdy and reliable and just everything you want in a brush. Yeah, yeah joy to, to follow with, that's for sure. And I think there's a lot of you know, there's so much on the market because of that explosion there was in the in the coloring industry. And there's so much crap out there uh, that people are selling and panhandling, and I don't know what. That is so hard to see what is good and what is bad because you really don't know before until you try it. Because it may look like a million bucks and it looks like a brilliant product and has a great price tag. And then when you get it in your hand, you're just like terribly disappointed. Also, some of the things you, you see them trying it and it just looks like it works perfectly. And then when you get it, it's just crap. Like those pretty things on Pinterest. When you try to make them yourself, they just look like, oh. And it looks so easy. Yeah. So. But this is, uh, this for me seems to be it, you know, that it, it does what it promised to do, and the only disappointment is the box. So, yeah, the, the, the colors are definitely not disappointing in any way. So we're going for next blue, next blue, next blue. We're gonna go there, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go in here in the middle. You see, it's good that I didn't choose a blue that was too close to that other one. Because now you can actually see him. You know, that purple. So, I have prepared so much with the weirdies. And I have asked a few artists if they want to host. Um, and I, I do believe that some will come in and host. But I do believe that more will be interested when they see that it's successful, that people like it and that people follow it, then they'll be more interested. It's always like, you know, the thing is, you gotta sometimes take a chance on something, because then it might get bigger, but a lot of people are not, you know, that much into taking chances on anything, or just, you know, experimenting, and then when they see that it's successful, then they will come after. But that's okay too. We'll see what goes, what happens. I mean, if I mean, I know that I do have some that will go in, uh, and also colorists. So I hope that that will happen. And uh, if not, I will do as much as I can. But of course, I can't promise to be able to do every day, because that's gonna be impossible. I think, because then I'll have to do something one day, and then I can't that day. And, so, but we'll, I'll do my best and we'll get there. And I think it's going to be fun, no matter what. It's going to be a, a fun, fun thing to do those weirdies. 
Yeah, yeah, that was the other point. That that thing about going on top here is not as it, it sort of falls off easily. Hi Dawn, nice to see you. Nice to see you. And I've been coloring for quite a while. Been going through a lot of different stages in this one. I hated it at one point, now I'm loving it. So uh it's uh, it's been all over the place this bucket. So nice to see you. Also, I want to make sure that if anyone has been in the epic Christmas giveaway, that you make sure that you enter all the books you missed in the extra epic Christmas way Christmas giveaway bonus lottery, because it would be nice to win the books that you missed. And uh, we had a nice draw today of. 28 plus 5 because my daughter likes to do extras and hey you know what I like to do extras too so uh, in that way my daughter and I are quite uh, agreeing on how to do this so um, we wanted to be it has to be happy you know happy times we do happy things and, and uh, that's what it's all about we need to get through no, you're not late to the party. The party is far from over. Oh, your hearts are not working. Oh. No, Julie, you weren't. I don't know if you were a winner today. No, I don't think so. I didn't send you anything. Did you enter in the lottery? Because I didn't. Uh, did, I, did I get you out yesterday? I'm not sure. Because I've entered everything. But if there's more, I, I, I check like two or three times a day if anybody new has entered and then I, I write out the tickets and I put them down. And as you can see, there's a lot of tickets in there. So there's a lot that hasn't been drawn yet. But we still have a few days to draw winners. But I don't remember if your name was on today. I don't think so, Judy. But you'll have the, the video is up, and if you haven't received a message from me, then you weren't on the list because I already sent out the books to the winners. So if you haven't gotten a message, then you weren't. But then there's a chance that you will be tomorrow. Um, I'll I try to get the books out as fast as I can after we draw the winners, so that. You don't have to sit and wait for them. Waiting sucks. Uh, waiting really sucks in my book. And if somebody makes me wait too much, if somebody does not call me when they're supposed to, or when I think they're supposed to, then um, I will lose my patience and they might become history because I don't like to be disappointed or waiting for somebody to call me so that's the way it goes that's the way the story goes so then are we going on to the sort of turquoisey thingy? I like this, I really, I, I'm, I, I'm so happy now that I didn't give up because I was really close to get up <laughs> There's lots of places where there's lots of more days to go in the draw, so there's lots of more chances to get the books because I'm not drawing few ones. I'm drawing a lot every day, I think. Today we, we drew like a 28 plus 5, 33 winners. So I sent out 33 books. And yesterday it was 32. So I already sent out 65 extra books in the epic giveaway. So I think that's that's quite a lot. I think here I missed one. Um, just gonna fill it in now. Yes, I missed that one. How could I do that? So now it's there. Now it's there without a care in the world. Yeah, definitely. You know, if somebody disappoints me too many times by not calling me back, uh, 
then I will dump them. And I will, you know, I won't be feeling sad or blue about that. I'll just be saying, well, you lost your chance, you lost your opportunity, you had a golden ticket, and you let it go, sweetheart. So, yeah, that's uh, a bit how I am as a person. I do not chase anyone. I'm a woman. If they can't chase me, then uh, they already lost the game. So, because I don't play games, I just expect the man to do what I think he should do and what is right. And if he doesn't do that, then uh, then I'm over the hill. Yeah, well, I'm over the hill anyways. I'm over 40. I'm fat. I'm finished. You know, I mean, come on. Can it get any better? Come on. How lucky can you be? <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> now, okay, that, that's, that's what I say about I have a funny kind of humor. There was a coloring book giveaway, the epic Christmas coloring book giveaway, where I gave a book away every day for 24 days. Well, I gave a title away every day for 24 days, so it was actually 24 books, and everybody who was in the giveaway would get a book every day, if they followed the steps. So that giveaway is actually over. I'm sorry, Donna, uh, to be a kill sport, but it ended on the 24th, and the book lottery is uh, for those who were in the epic giveaway. So if you were on one of the days in the epic giveaway, um, I can't say because there was almost over three, uh, no, maybe 275 or something people entered at some point in the epic Christmas giveaway. So if you have entered just one day, you are eligible to enter to the lottery all the books that you missed out on. Uh, and I draw winners, but I'm not sure. I would have to check my files if you were in it. Maybe if you send me um, a personal message on my on my page, I can see if you were in the giveaway at some point during those 24 days and you're eligible to go into the lottery. If not, do not despair because uh, I'm the kind of person who will do crazy stuff all the time. So uh, I will always make up different kinds of giveaways or events. Or, and I mean, starting like right now, you have all the pages that I've been coloring. Uh, and you can get those for free on my page here. And uh, I will have the whole, uh, the color, a weirdy a day, where you will be able to get the day's weirdy for free as well every day for the whole year. So that's actually 365 giveaways uh, during the next year, starting on the 1st. I will put up the first one probably on the 31st so that you guys will be able to get it before we start on the 1st of January with the color video day. And uh, those will be uh, possible to get, which is quite good, I think. Uh, so that will be a huge, that would be a whole year giveaway because there will be one page every day. Uh, I'm not sure how long the page will be available for. It might be just 24 hours before and 24 hours after. And then after it will disappear because otherwise my, my page will be full of pages. Uh, so I'm making those as a pay what you want uh, so that it's available for also those who can't afford to buy but it's also where you can actually tip you can uh, set it zero plus so you can give a tip if you can afford it or you feel like it but you can definitely if you can't afford it you can grab it for free because I would like as many people to be a part of Color Aware Day as possible and to enjoy it and then you know also especially those who can't afford it you know there's not a lot of stuff around because you know let's face it everybody's making money so um, you know it's, it's hard if you don't have any 
So I want it to be possible for everybody to participate, no matter if they have money or not. You know, of course, they still have to print it. Uh, I can't help with that. Uh, but, you know, at least they have the possibility of getting the pages. Uh, so I think that that's the best I can do. That's what I can do. And then the rest is up to everyone if they want to be in on it or not. So, yeah, it's getting pretty. And, uh, Donna, this one, you can... You can in the in the post. There's a link to where you can get it, so you can actually go get that one if you want it and uh, download it and print it. So, yeah. So we're moving on. We're moving on. We've got three greens left, and uh, yeah, it's shaping up. Mm. You better shape up, because mm -hmm. I need a man. I'm not good at singing, but it's such a nice song, this Grease song. I like it. You better shape up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think we're going to have a blast with the last ones. A total blast. Well, well, I'm gonna have a blast because I'm the one who's coloring them. So, but I hope you all guys will like it. I think it looks very colorful. I mean, I really like when I see this on the camera, when I look at the screen, it's just so vibrant, uh, it's so full. And that's what I like. The pigment in these are awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, and I will also, when I finish, try to find one for tomorrow that I'll set up. And um, then I can tell you all about the experimentarium. Uh, that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. So I already put that one on. And I have the last green here that I'm going for here. And then we'll be switching back. Oh, I love this green. This is a really lovely green. I will need to use that more. I will use use that on switching. Definitely, definitely. So I'm going to use this because now I'm going to go in here and uh, I will I'll do it here in the middle. That one and that one. And then I'm going to take it all the way here. And I'm just going to ignore my lines here because I want these to be bold. Um, so I'm not going to do every single one. So I'm just going to do them one color. And that's the same what I'm going to do down here. And there I will do it from the inside. And just, just uh, color all the way over the little twister wave there. And here too. Uh, because that's how I feel. That's the way I'm digging it right now. Yeah. yeah I'm liking it. I'm, I'm liking looking at it now. I was like, at that point where I was almost giving up, I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm going to give up on this one. I don't know. Because I was just hating it so much. So, yeah. But now I'm loving it. So, that's good. And now I'm just going to start over with my yellow. And of course you can see in here I still have a detail. So that's the last details that are missing in there. Whereas I'm going bold on the twister lines. Going bold. Ignoring the little spaces. This is really lovely. And they lay down so beautifully. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Actually, they told me from, uh, from this uh, style file, they told me they were going to make some that were refillable. I have to check up with them if they did it, because that would be really nice to, 
to see if they make some refillable ones because then it'll get closer to the Copic but still in a more affordable price probably. I don't have any Copics. I think you know maybe at one point um, I will get some. I'll make a wish list and then hope that everybody will send me just one color. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, these Copics, they are like the dream thing. But I'm scared to even buy one because I know that, you know, I would be like, oh, my God, I love them, I love them, I love them. And uh, that would be horrible to just have one and then be in love with it. So no Copics for me so far. But at some point in my life, I'll get there. I'll get to the Copic moment. And then it would be all that more satisfactory when you get there, if you waited for a long time, I'm sure. But I do have to say that sometimes it bites me a bit when I see the Kovics around, you know, I'm like, oh, they look so good. Um, and also the fact that you can refill them, uh, and that they have all those beautiful colors, and oh, it's just nom nom. But, you know, that's how life is. Yes, I did Yumsy Flumsy Color Long video. And I did Yibi Dibi Da. And I did the uh, Coming Through and Elephantasy and Willy Dallas 3. I did, did quite a few here the past days. No, there's not a lot of uh, yellows. There's only like two real yellows, I think, three maybe. But not a lot of yellows. That's also weird. I like yellows. There should be more yellows. Of the coloring kind. The other yellows we can do without. So, yeah. This is nice. But there are lots of reds in this one. Really a lot of reds. But no, not a lot of yellows. And I also noticed that there weren't a lot of lighter shades of blue. So you know, this is an 80 set I have. They might uh, have to think about making a 120 set or 150 set to get those yellows, blues, light blues in. And I have some turquoises in between so that you can shift easily between the greens. So maybe we should make a wish list. This is, this is going to be neat. It's going to be neat, neat, neat. I'm liking it. I'm liking the way you can control. Like, you see, I just did something that was much bigger, and I did easily and fast, and it just lay down. There's nothing, no effort, no. It just flows down and lays down perfectly. And it doesn't matter if it's a big one or a small one. Now you can see again, blam, blam. And you just mush it out a bit more. And it just spreads out and does it perfectly. I like that. I also like, but Rose Anthony, are you, are you working with the same with the sick brushes like me? Or... Are you working with something else? Which ones are you working with? So now I'm on to the reds. So I think there will be a lot of red. I think this will be dominated by red. Or I might just only do two reds and maybe some pink. Yeah, we can switch it up however you want, of course. It's looking good. It's 
see. And the wheezing is not me, it's the computer. Um, well, you can probably hear me breathe too because my nose is stuffed. This is nice. I'm happy with what this is turning into. It's really becoming very pretty. That's nice. So, let's see. It tastes a fine point. I haven't tried those at all. <coughs> I haven't, I've never tried those. I don't have them. <clears throat> They're supposed to be brushes too, or what? Are they brushes? I never tried that set. How how do you find those Atesas rose? Now we can query you about them. Are they good or are they bad? But at least we know that they're lacking a bit of yellow. <coughs> <coughs> so I think I'm just gonna go with the red because we have a lot of red here that I'll be carrying through, so <coughs> that's really annoying that it's stuck in my throat right now. There's no room left. So yeah, this is pretty. So this is good. I think we're gonna go here. I think it will finish it off pretty nicely. <coughs> so yeah, this is nice. Now I am wheezing. Yeah, now it's better. It got unstuck. Yeah, it looks really nice in the screen. So yeah, it's finally becoming happy with it. Getting ready for the last, last red. So yeah. And that's the last red. Gonna come on now. And that's actually perfect. It's just before it turned into the magenta one. So it actually fits pretty neatly to be the last one to come on. I missed a spot in there. I'm just gonna do it like that. Boom. Doesn't matter. So yeah, that was Mr. Buckhead. He's he has a complicated one. The, he had a there was a few things going wrong with him, but he's done now, and I think he actually turned out pretty great. I think actually up here I need that red in 
I put it on top of that yellow because I think it was too much yellow with the two next to each other. So we're getting a little bit of contrast there. So Mr. Buckhead has now been colored. So let me see your buckets. Uh, I can put them in the colored albums. You can share them around if you want to. And if you have friends who might also like the buckhead for free, then uh, yeah, I need antibiotics. I think I do. Fine tip pen, not brush. How to cover it. Ah, uh, yeah. I understand what you mean, uh, Rose. And yes, Beverly, I do think I need antibiotics because this is not gonna, it's just gonna get more and more stuck. And uh, I need it to get unstuck. So, that was the coloring for today. And I'm gonna go try to see what we're gonna color tomorrow. And uh, thank you for being with me. And I hope you have a continued good evening. And um, I'll sign off and see if there's any new entries to the lottery. And then I'll just try to get to bed quickly, early, hopefully. Or we'll see how much luck I have with that. I'll try. I'll do my best. Um, so I also have to, I have to go to that fun thing tomorrow. So yeah, that's my finished one. Should we have a recap of the other ones we did? We did bucket. Now we're gonna we're gonna do them like I'm gonna say. We're just gonna have a look at what we did. The first one we did was Yibidibida. Uh, he was neat, and he was with the tiger Margus, I think I remember. And we did uh, Yomsi Flomsi, and we did. Elef Fantasy, that was the one I did with the with these sick brush markers, and you can really see the beautiful colors. Then we did Coming Through, where you can see that that was the Faber Castell brush set. Artist pit pens, they're not called brush, artist pit pens. And they're also beautiful, beautiful colors. And here we have a squiggly, 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 squiggly. And we had the Weirdy Dala from the yet unpublished not yet published, that we did the other day. And yesterday we had fun with the grading colors or mixing colors with the alcohol markers. And today it was Mr. Bucket. So I'll see what I can find for tomorrow. And uh, wishing you all a good night. And uh, let me see your color. And that's it. Bye.